Marek, yes. Danuta, yeah. and Isabella. Uh, we're here in London, and uh, Marek and Danuta uh, are homeless uh, here at uh, No Second Night Out. And Isabella is a translator, and uh, Marek and Danuta are from Poland. So tell me about uh, being homeless in the UK. Uh, second time, yeah. So uh, in June, in July, uh, I lost job for last and uh, I lost house for last month. Yeah? I took uh, another one flat, and uh, it was uh, over um, It was a scam. Yeah. So you you, so you lost your job and then you took a, a, a different flat, but it was a scam. I didn't much. Uh, well, basically, uh, from what I found out earlier, they paid the deposit and paid one month in advance for the flat. And after uh, three days, after three days, someone knocked on the door, like really big, bulky, scary guy, saying, "This is my flat, and you have to get out." And they basically scared the not and Marek, and they left. Wow. They just grabbed their basic possessions and left everything behind and found themselves. So you were out on the streets? Yeah. Um, and you told me you were living in a, an abandoned factory. Uh, half of this, this factory was shrunk, right? Yeah. In the, in the past with the offices, was the rooms. So we took from the street mattresses and uh, yeah. another one. Mm -hmm. Uh, stuff and we must uh, leave uh, this uh, factory every morning in darkness and we could come back in the darkest evening right so. you're, you're you're sneaking in and out basically yes um, what was your first day like homeless terrible can, can you tell me what you went through how you um, found the factory or uh, what you did to survive oh and then being with your wife too it's got to be so I scary found, i found it i found it uh shower in the swimming pool and uh, jumping foot in the shopping and the sun clothes on the street and uh, that's it so so now uh you're connected to uh, outreach workers who are now trying to help you. Uh, I have got a uh, high English qualification in the buildings, in the building site. And uh, so here, the first help is, is, is social, shower accommodation, yeah. emergency, emergency accommodation, for full time on the nurse. Something like this, some food, coffee, sugar, tea, milk. Nice. More important is help to for find job for me. Only this because I, I have got uh, insurance number and uh, other papers, English papers, letters. So so for now, for the last four days, they're looking for a job for me. And so emergency, another one accommodation for time for waiting for first money from job. So they're looking for a job and then help you get a flat and get back your back so you're not sleeping outside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. Never have been, never have been uh, homeless more. It is first. Yeah. Second, something, something to job because uh, I can I can take more 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 jobs. I can do the baby sweeper, labor, right. packer, or something like this. And uh, having money to have uh, accommodation for us. Yeah. And That's I, it. That is free. Yeah. I think Danuta has the same wish to have a, a place to stay and a job. She only has two wishes and just everything to work out. How, how do you say that in Polish? 
No chciałabym, żeby nam wyszło to załatwienie tego. Z mieszkaniem i, i z pracą. Well, it looks like your wishes are coming true. So. Wygląda na to, że Państwa życzenia się mogą spełnić. I hope, and I know it, I will wait two weeks. Yeah. And I will, we will have all of them. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you very much.